shot is blocked. Spiky oh. head kick. Boys hurt back. Coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight division collision. All right, here he is, the decorated kickboxer, back for more here tonight. And he's so comfortable in the striking realm, it's almost like he started kickboxing before he ever was reading or writing. Oh, it's unbelievable to see someone that's so comfortable under so much duress. I know. When you're in kickboxing range, you are in the fire. There is no safety. You're right in range to be getting knocked out. But he does not fear that. He loves it. He loves the he loves the combat. He loves the engagement. But what you have to understand is he's not engaging his opponents on their turn. He's doing it on his turn. Whether or not he wants to be in close with the big punches or he wants to be at range landing kicks, he's just constantly putting damage on you. Top, bottom, up, low, it does not matter. This guy is a dominant striker. One of the best kickboxers the UFC has ever seen. And in terms of the punching technique and the jab, as good as anyone in this division. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing. And it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Bergliata. And now, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the Honda Center in Anaheim, California. <laughs> Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer, holding a professional record of 21 wins, nine losses. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Fiano Mahenta And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, grip the rules in the locker room. I want you to be in my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. On a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, back your corners, come out for They touch him up, and we are underway. You ready? Are you ready? It's all right, Craig, getting excited as this fight gets underway, and you hate any fighter on this UFC roster is a specialist, but on one side, you have a definite striker taking on a true five-tool play. And you see a guy in the striker who knows exactly who he is. He knows where the fight needs to be. He knows what he has to do in order to be successful. Let's see if he can keep his opponent off of him. Huge block there. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this gentleman. Oh, do you believe that another head kick lands? Got to start raising that guard or this is going to be the end of the fight. You got to start raising the guard and guiding that head kick down back towards your feet. You cannot take him clean and you cannot take him on one arm. 
and they separate. Oh, really using his reach advantage there with that one in DC. You gotta whip his hip into that kick. All right, so a good job defensively by him here as he raises the guard and prevents any damage. Shades of James Tony. Always seeing things coming at him. He's such a great defensive fighter. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Lee gets caught with that punch. Got to shore up the defense here. Oh, collar tie. Glancing right hand lands upstairs. Oh, nice job to block the kick. Oh, and he is getting tagged repeatedly. Nice combination of strikes up top. Oh, beautiful combination of top. I don't understand why the guy is not moving his head. Get your head moving, son. How good is that right hand? Oh, nice, nice right hand. Big ball for punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Nice head kick. And he landed the right hand there. Good series of strikes for him there, staying busy and staying accurate. I mean, the accuracy is unbelievable. And both guys really throwing with authority. Look at those weapons. Look at how he uses his knees to the body. Real sneaky head kick gets in there. Oh, nice jab by him there. And I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. Good jab. A oh, little single collar tie there. Lee's got the tie clinch. Let's see what he can do with it. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Can't take many of those. You better check. Oh, nice counter punch there. Again, we talked about the reach advantage off the top of the show. Certainly paid dividends for him there. Beautiful body kick. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Whoa, 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 whoa. All right, let's check out some of the action now from that previous round, and he really kept finding a home for those kicks. Yeah, and why would you change it? If your opponent is not going to check, if he's going to stand there, and he's not on his toes, and he's stationary, you keep driving those kicks into his thighs, into his body, until he makes some sort of adjustment. All right, next round is underway, DC. We talked okay, about his powerful move. kicks, how he attacks all go, sides fight. of the body, the head, the legs. Pretty good start for him. That was so impressive to see. Someone fight almost predominantly with their legs and have that level of success. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiffed on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Well, we talked about that reach advantage as you see him land the straight punch there. Great job using his length in that situation. How's he gonna follow this one up? Big head kick. Oh! Spinning back fist. Look at how he turns his hip over when he throws that kick. It's a nice back and forth action here. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively, protecting his head, raising the goal. And maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to work very bad for his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. So a much different approach from him here in round two. Took him a while to find the range, get in his striking rhythm. He has found it here, and as a result, has really picked up the pace in round two. Shot is blocked. Oh. Head kick. Oh, he's hurt bad. Whoa! Back to the feet. Oh, he might be out. Whoa! Oh, and now his opponent in a world of trouble. Such a sneaky head kick. He did not recognize it. High, and now he's got hurt bad. Well, it's one thing to have length. It's another thing to use. 
delivers it, and he does it as well as anyone. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, he did a great job of rotating him into an underhook. Yeah, he's mixed it all up. Lee gets caught with that punch. His chin is held up thus far. Got to shore up the defense here, though. I mean, he's cutting him down the size with these beautiful legs here. Oh, nice. Lee's kick attempt there blocked. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. Goes upstairs for an elbow. Remain in round two. Round three next. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, He's in there with a guy that does have that ability. All right, next round is now underway. Previous right. round, not necessarily right. a tough act to follow. Pretty good not Pretty good round, but not the best round. Sometimes that's what you get when you have fighters that are so evenly matched. Well, you see him land the jab there. He's got the reach advantage. You might as well use it. Well, just as he did in the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he has to oh, right to the target. Let's see if his opponent can survive. I cannot believe he is still standing after taking that one. So, fighter a little bit stunned, holding on to him now, not doing a ton, just looking to recover. That was the good. Nice strike. Well, he continues to do a nice job here defensively protecting the head and sort of maybe letting his... Oh, huge elbow! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves to go. Both finishes. Huge right. shots there! Oh, straight right! Oh! He needs to start looking... Oh. After a monumental knockout turned in here tonight, that is one they will be talking about for quite some time. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Rodriguez has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, 28 seconds of round number three. We play the winner by Dr. Bruce the Dragon.